environmental rights action critically examine communities' role in oil theft and artisanal refining and how we can utilize this seemingly negative activity to deal with some of the issues around lack of a sense of participation or ownership in the extractive business. They insist that they are not stealing the crude because they think it's theirs, uh, but they collect crude oil without paying for it and they refine it into diesel and kerosene. Uh, these are products that are severely lacking in many local communities. How do we create an environment in which this kind of activity is upgraded so that it does not destroy the environment? Those who are involved in it uh, pay some, some amount for utilizing crude oil and then we can supply, especially oil producing communities who have no access to oil, to petroleum products. We looked at processes to put in place so that people who are engaged in it uh, actually do it in the proper manner. The people say this is re rewarding illegality. We know this is, this is an argument that people have put forward, but it will not stop. We've tried the military option. We've, we've bombed all the artisanal refining points. And in two days, they are set up again and people are running with it. The level of uh, degradation increases with the kind of uh, action that the Nigerian government has been taking, especially the military. Can we get those, the communities who feel left out within the oil process, within the oil business, can we get them involved in this? Can we even introduce uh, better technologies, like getting uh, modular refineries and introducing it to the local communities involved in this? That, that could help in, in, in a major way to deal with the issues around wealth generation, economic activity, employment issues. Will it help in dealing with uh, some of the unimaginable level of devastation and the spoilation that we experience in the Niger Delta?